All right, uh, this is Roger. I am the voice of Mud Fossil University on YouTube, and it's free, and there are hundreds of videos on here. And uh, we do a lot on um, um, the Earth and uh, actual history and giants and new species discovered, as you can see. Uh, a lot of things that have been ignored and, um, and dismissed by academia we go into them a little deeper here now what we're going to do about today is energy and here's one of our light accelerated photo and study now uh, we're going to be going through this in a minute but what I want you to see here and to be a takeaway is that magnets don't have are, aren't just push and pull they have more uh, abilities they can pull in and repel at the same time as you will see this guy is going to let this magnet go in and as he does it will attach to the other one you see that it doesn't it, it, it doesn't make contact and it cannot make contact this is the critical thing that all the physicists now are missing there is a, a, a net negative on every single particle in the universe and I will explain this to you right now if this has a net negative but also has an extreme positive it will pull in everything else that has a net negative and an extreme positive but it will only pull it into a certain quantum distance which is dictated by the excessive negativeness of this and the excessive negative of this they both attract each other as we can see and they both repel each other as we can see so there is obviously an increased negativeness in each one of these particles. Otherwise, they'd collapse together or they would just go flying apart. And they would not stick in this particular configuration because this guy can move this all around. He can shake this back and forth. And that does not go away from that, that magnet. It is a complete quantum uh, setup here. Okay, this is Roger from Mud Fossil University again, um, voice of Mud Fossil University. Now, this goes back uh, a few, a couple of years ago, uh, back to uh, September uh, of 2015. This is when we were going by the name of Mud Space Fossils. Well, now it's Mud Fossil University on YouTube. Uh, and I started to explain about wave particle duality and it was resolved with vortex theory and of course you see how much <laughs> 265 views we got a lot of action on that one so I'm going to explain to you today because all of the work's been done and now it's time to really push this forward because matter is not understood and I will explain to you just why I say that and I think I have more evidence to support that than anybody else and I'm willing to be confronted by anyone and I'm willing to discuss this with anyone. Alright, this is not going to be easy but I'm going to do the best I can. Now this is Roger from Mud Fossil University and we've been studying light and energy and um, sonoluminescence and uh, all kinds of things regarding the nature of atomic matter and how it reacts and um, and how light is transmitted and uh, how light is sent from the sun and uh, reaches the earth and in between it's still light and it's still energy only it's in a dark state which we call dark matter and dark energy so uh, right now it's not considered to be anything until it becomes something it's 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 the science is not correct now really at all so let's listen to this guy he, he's, he's absolutely brilliant and uh, I'm going to cut in a couple of times here. I haven't discovered anything. I'm using everybody else's science. Uh, you know, I, I have a couple of things that I came up with, but mostly it's a, it's a cooperative effort between everyone. And I'm not doing this for any profit or anything. So this is all under the Fair Use Act. And if anybody objects, I'll, I'll try to accommodate them. But the only way we're ever going to be able to get ahead in education is to work cooperatively. Right now it's a hidden science. Everybody thinks, oh, I discovered this and I'm going to hide it and I'm going to sell a paper about it. It's insane. And, 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 uh, and nothing is allowed 
to come on the market until you, you, you somebody wants to make money on it. So we're going to go over that. It, it, Mudfossil University is what I started, and uh, and that I'm the voice for Mudfossil University. So don't listen. In Mudfossils, everybody's getting into it now because they are real and they are the giants of our past. DNA proven, CAT scan, e enormous not little puppy 18 20 50 foot giants i'm talking about enormous go to mud fossil university on youtube there's hundreds of videos it's all dna and cat scans and chemistry and all that stuff so that's what you're going to need to have to do uh to, to get to the depth of mud fossils but right now we're going to go into another part of mud fossil university science and that is energy we do everything we do and we allow religion there too. Nobody's telling you what you have to learn. Nobody's telling you you're going to have to agree or you're going to have to pay us or any of that business. You go there and you think what you think. Because the, 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 the evidence is undeniable and it's not being allowed. So, let's go into energy because this is, is very, very exciting uh, to me. Now, uh, let's listen to this fellow and he is extremely good. All right, so let's see what he has to We're say. so excited to be here today. Uh, so the first time I met Paul, so this was many years ago, I walked in and he said, Karen, I created this sun in a jar. I got this star in a jar. I'm like, you're kidding me. He's like, oh yeah, all that stuff you've learned, put it on the back of your brain because I'm going to show you something awesome. Well, I'm telling you, this is an amazing invention. You can't buy this. Like, there's no way. But this is just to show off. This is just to show off Paul and some of the really neat ways that elements work and that uh, that chemistry works. And so we want to just jump in here and Paul, I'm going to take it away because there's sure. no possibility I can explain this. Sure. Now, I'm going to hit rewind and watch this video maybe 150 times, I don't know. And and then maybe I can say it, but take it away. Sounds great. It's hard to explain. So what this really is, is a oversimplification of what dragon really is. It's it's combining a, uh, a yin and yin. I, I just want to make a point here. He talks about the different energies of the earth and of the universe in terms of yin, yin and yang and that's fine I, I agree with that because there is the positives and negatives that is how everything works so he's calling them dragon energies and I can go along with that too because I know there's dragons yang energy frequency together and they both attract they they want what each other each other has there's value in that exchange so contrary to what um, they teach in science um, so we talked already about the periodic table is really a periodic table of energy. Um, the universe is actually magnetic and light. Um, it's not gravitational driven. It's such a weak force compared to magnetism. Mm -hmm. this so what this so is, is right. I'm going to um, induce an electrical and magnetic field. This, this outer ball is the male or um, yang field. And this silver one inside is the yin or female field. Fascinating. So just like males and females like to do, they are going to go at it. So w with no further ado, I'm going to now put this over in order to help adjust. Now what he's doing is he's going to... We're going to turn on a vacuum pump so go. that we can mimic outer space. And let's see, I think it's right here. Now you've created a special generator for this. This is what yeah. you're doing. So you've created specific a, frequencies, male frequencies and female frequencies. Yep, it's both okay. male and female mm -hmm. at the same time. Wow. But again, it, it's not... I want to make, make a point about that. Both male and female at the same time. And all magnets are both positive and negative at the same time. All matter, including light, is positive and negative at the same time. And from the experiments I have done with a, another fella, uh, actual light experiments, it appears that the negative exceeds the positive of all matter. So all matter has what you would consider a net negative, which means it has an extreme positive, but it is also negative and the negative exceeds the positive by just a smidge and what that does is it accomplishes everything and unifies everything and electricity is a driving force of everything electricity keeps everything together and it keeps everything apart and I will show you that in a minute
All right, to cut way out to the chase, because it's 10 minutes, he's letting this thing build up. What he's doing here is the outside ball is allowing electrons to be stripped off of it and being collected here. That's my take on this. And I'm, I don't have a 100% claim on anything here. I'm looking at what he's doing and I'm making literal guesses. But I'm making them based on conclusions of other research that I've done. So listen to this. Right. Now what are we going to see next? I know I've come in here before and there's been like this incredible strand of electronic activity. Listen happening. to what this. Listen yeah. carefully. Basically these tiny little trumpets, if you will. Tiny little trumpets, if you will. Shooting out in these little triangles inside the female ball. Um, magnetically combined to be one quasar, and which is pure electrons. You can actually take a magnet and bend it, move it to the different part of the sun or whatever. Amazing. Yeah. All right, now listen to this. At eight minutes here, he talks about exactly what I want you to hear. Listen. And kind of mixing that all together is where we use dragon. Ah, makes sense. Yeah. So, Paul, this little dot of male frequency, and Mark, if you can catch that over on this side here, is that, that's what's that's the source. feeding the female frequency. Yep. So that is what's feeding the energy that's the, the source. Yep. It's on the outside, but it's feeding the ball. In a vortex, so all energy travels Listen. in a vortex. Um, scientists usually refer to the two-dimensional version. So as as it spins, um, if you smash it flat, it looks like it's up and down in a wave. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's actually a vortexing. It's three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at a vortex from the side and you could see it, you'd actually it look like a wave. It look like it's going up and down, yeah. but it's but it, uh, it's going like this. But it's really going like that. A vortex, excellent. Yep. So That's the part of vortex. And then a comment made earlier by Dr. Troy, you seem to have almost an, a field around it, like rings. Can you explain what those rings are? Cut so this is face. the male field that's on the outside, and then the female field on the inside. So the energy is acting on the actual metal field. All right, it's, it's the same thing I'm talking about. It's positive and negative. He's calling it female and uh, a male. And that's fine. Uh, brilliant. A brilliantly done showing that electrons can be stripped and collected to, to my mind because that ball ends up being an extremely bright brilliant uh, ball of, uh, of light inside there similar to the Sun and it's radiating back out the electrons similar to the Sun as you get to the end this posted and for people to see this amazing technology thank you Paul. Yeah, you're welcome. at the you. end he speaks about it sending the electrons back out in these uh, vortexes and that's exactly correct that's a, uh, that was my theory long ago and he's absolutely as far as I'm concerned added at least some support to this and I'm going to show you some other support 